This book is a real book about real foxes. Do you think this is a real book about real foxes? No, how can you tell? What's different about that fox that's not the normal? How's he walking? How many legs is he using? Two. Two. How many legs do foxes really walk on? Four. Four. And this fox, I think he's carrying a doll. I think he's carrying a stuffed yeah. fox. Is he? <laughs> so that's how we know this isn't a real story, right? So let's look at this really cute book of real foxes. Isn't that a pretty fox? He's fluffy. Remember when I asked you what color they are, how, what color do you see on that guy? Brown. Brown, yep. He kind of black on Yes, he has black on him. Does he have some white? Uh-huh. Yeah, so he has a lot of colors, right? Well, let's look at these really cute pictures because this is about fox kits. You know what fox kits are? Baby foxes. Baby foxes, you are right. It is. And so let's look at some of these really cute pictures of little baby foxes. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Wouldn't you want to hug them? Because they're so soft. I would love to touch that fur. And look at these two guys looking at each other. Yeah. <laughs> that is cute. It says, what are these forest babies? Fox kits. Now, some people call them kits, or that's kind of short for kittens. And I've heard other people call them pups, like dogs have puppies. So here's one with a mom. She's a little bit redder color, a little bit different color than the babies are. But look at that soft fur on the babies. It says the fox kits stay by their mom, and they stay by their den. Do you see that little place where they live? Can you see that little hole or kind of a cave kind of place? That's where they like to live. They feel safe in there. And look at their tongues. What color are their tongues? Pink. Pink. They're pretty cute, aren't they? Okay, and so it says they sleep a lot. That's about the cutest picture there ever was. Are you gonna go to sleep too? That's a soft little kit. And then they play. Did you know they play with their mouths? They pretend like they're biting each other. That's how they play, because they're learning how to be grown-ups. And they run. Do you run when you play? Yeah, he's learning how to be a grown-up. And they learn. See, the mommy is using her nose and sniffing something. And the little baby's learning how to do that too. Mother and father foxes use their noses a lot. All right, so let's read about this funny fox. This one says, little fox in the forest. Do foxes really live in the forest? Yeah, they do. So, oh boy, right away we can tell this is a make-believe story, right? It has stuffed animal foxes. It says, little fox in the forest. Oh my goodness, you know what? I think this book has no words. We're gonna have to tell the words ourselves. So let's see what happens. At the, on the first page, we see a little girl, I think, and she's sleeping with her... Girl. I think it is. And she's sleeping with her pet, pretend, fox, right? Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens next. She's putting the fox back on the shelf and getting ready for school. There she is in school. Oh, she's talking to her neighbor. Are you supposed to talk in school? I don't know. And their teacher is teaching her something, but look, she has little dot, dot, dot. What's she thinking about? Her fox. And now she's going home from school. And when she got home, what did she do? She grabbed her fox and she's playing. And now we see lots of pictures of her with. Yeah, what's she doing when one of those pictures? Having a tea party with her? Yeah, tea party. She's doing lots of stuff with her. Halloween. (laughs) Halloween with the fox. And here she is at show and tell. Have you ever had show and tell? Look who she brought for show and tell. Her fox. 
And here she is going home and look who's in the backpack. Her fox. She's, oh, she put him in the swing. She stopped at the park and they're gonna swing. There they, oh, but look. Someone's watching her from behind a bush. A real fox. A real fox. And look. He went over to the swing and he grabbed her baby fox. And he's running away. There he goes. He, and she sees him. He's a real baby fox. I know. And she says, oh no, there goes that real fox with my stuffed animal fox. Let's see what's going to happen now. Will she chase him? Yes. Do you think she'll be afraid of the fox or not? No. 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 Okay. There's a little boy and he's watching her run after the fox and oh my goodness, she's going deep in the woods. And look, where's the fox now? Oh my gosh, behind the tree. Yes, he's up in a tree. Can she see him? She's not looking at him, is she? She's running and looking and oh, goodness. There goes the fox and there's something else behind this tree. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, squirrel. look at that. It's a squirrel in a cute little squirrel house. And they're talking about where is that fox? And she's showing the squirrel a picture of her fox. She's saying, have you seen that fox anywhere? And the squirrels, oh, now she's asking a bear. Oh, no, not. She's asking the, this fox ran up next to a bear. And there's this funny guy like a mole or something, looking at him. <coughs> and here goes this fox. He's dreaming of doing all those things with his new toy, right? What does he want to do with that new fox? Dance, dance. He wants to play music and have a tea party. Read, read, read. And read. He's imagining what he's going to do with his new toy fox. Uh-oh, this guy's chasing him. Oh, no, and they're going round and round and round. Oh, no. And that, that guy stole the little toy, and he's running away. And the bear is thinking, hmm, I don't know about this. So the bear picked them both up. Look at that. And he's talking to the fox and the little mole. And now he's sending the mole away. He said, that little toy belonged to the fox. And there's the fox. It doesn't, does it? Who does it belong to? That little girl. That little girl, and here she comes. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, they're looking at a little village full of little squirrels and animals. And they're looking around, wondering if they're ever going to find their fox. And they're talking to all those people, and then look, her friend's pointing at something. Do you think it's the fox? Raccoon. A raccoon. Let's see. They're looking at these foxes. Uh-oh. She's pretty sad. She hasn't seen her fox yet, has she? They're still showing the pictures all around saying, where's my fox? And look, she's shouting, who knows where my fox is? And they're shouting to all the animal friends. Do you think someone will say, I saw that fox? Let's see. She's sitting down and everybody's looking, but the bear says, hmm, I think I saw that fox. It was with a real fox. And the bear goes looking with them and they're peeking in a window. Oh, look what they found. The fox and the doll. And now what are they going to do? The little fox gave it back to the little girl. She has it back. And now that little fox is kind of sad. See, he's in his bed without his toy. He's kind of sad. And she's talking to him. And now she's giving him the fox back. Oh, my gosh. Now the little fox has the toy. She found a new toy for him. Look what she gave him this time. A unicorn. <laughs> That's a silly story. Little fox has the fox and she has the unicorn. That was a silly story. <coughs> All right, let's see if we can see some more pictures of real foxes.
The foxes who live in, our, in Iowa with us are called red foxes. And they are um, kind of reddish, kind of brownish, like Luke said. Red foxes, let's see their picture. Look at this, guys. The stars twinkle high above the trees and a red fox roams the forest floor. Its pointed nose smells for food. Look at him. He's using his eyes. See how bright they are? He's looking for something to eat. Look at his ears. Is he listening really carefully? And we know he's got a pointy nose, so he's smelling. He is hungry and he's looking for something. <laughs> Most red foxes have red, black, and white fur on their coats, but a few red foxes don't have any red fur. These foxes have black, silver, or golden coats. He's pretty and fluffy, isn't he? How does he stay so fluffy outdoors all the time? I bet he doesn't shampoo, does he? <clears throat> red foxes have black fur on their legs and backs and their ears, and their bushy tails have a white tip. White fur grows around their noses. See his little white tip here and a little bit of white around his nose? Foxes live in many places. They may live in deserts or mountains, but they usually live in the woods and near meadows. There he is in the snow. Maybe we'll have some snow pretty soon and we'll be able to see the foxes. Fox homes are called dens. Dens are empty trees or holes in the ground. Dens can also be caves. Red foxes use the same den year after year. Look at this little guy in his den. See his bright eyes and his little pink tongue? Hunting. Red foxes hunt alone at night. They usually eat rodents, like squirrels, and other small animals. Foxes use their noses to find food. What's he going to have for supper? A squirrel. Yeah. Yep. Oh, do you want to see him? You want to see it better? It is a squirrel, isn't it? Red foxes will eat almost anything if they're hungry. Eggs. Do you like eggs? And garbage. Do you like garbage? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> and dead animals? No. Ooh. <laughs> they can all be on the menu. Sometimes hungry foxes steal chickens from farmers. Mm. Oh, oh, that'd be too bad, wouldn't it? <coughs> Fox pups. Remember we said some people call fox babies kits, and this book calls them pups. Mother foxes can have up to, how many babies do you think one mother fox would have at one time? Ten. Ten foxes. Baby foxes are called pups, and pups are born gray. Their fur changes after about a month. These little guys don't look gray. They kind of look the color of the dirt. I bet, I bet they've been rolling around in that dirt. They're little. Oh, both the mother and father take care of pups for six months. The parents must watch out for other, other animals that could hurt them. Coyotes, cougars, and lynx hunt for little, little foxes. Just look at that little fox. He is a cute little fox, isn't he? And that's the end of that one. And now I have another book. Does this look like a make-believe book or a real book? Pretend. A pretend book. What do you think? Uh-huh. This is called Far Away Fox. And I've never read this one before, but the librarian said we would like it. This was the forest where I lived with my family. Here's the forest. We used to race through the undergrowth and rest under the great shade trees after playing all day. But look. Now it has fences. He doesn't have a big place to play, does he? As kids, we spent our summer splashing in the stream and catching frogs while our parents went out to hunt. My sister would always catch the most, but now people, didn't, people put concrete on the edge of the creek. It's not a dirt creek like he was used to, is it? It's all different. I wonder where my mother is, where my sister Fox is now. That's not the kind of thing that foxes play with, is it? No. No. Who changed it? Who changed it away from the fox's playground? Changed what? How come it's not a woods anymore? It's a playground. Somebody turned it into a playground. 
Do you think the fox is like that? No. It's not their kind of playground at all, is it? It's different. They feel like it's not fair. They feel like it's not fair. You are right. Mm -hmm. And where's my big brother? We both loved the water, and we'd have contests to see who <coughs> could swim the fastest and the farthest. Oh, yeah. But now what's there? Is the creek there? No. What's in the way? A car. A car and a road. He doesn't have his creek to go swimming with his brother anymore, does he? Oh, there, look at that. My mother's a great hunter and she taught me well. She's so fast and quiet, the prey never hears her coming. Look, he's trying to reach up to the bird to catch him. He, he's hungry, I bet, isn't he? I miss my mother. She was such a good teacher, but she moved away, didn't she? Maybe she didn't like all that concrete. I miss my father too. He and I once came across a deer that had fallen into a hole in the woods. It was too deep a hole to climb out and the deer was trapped. But now what's there? Is that a woods? It's a highway, isn't it? Oh, he said he feels trapped now, like the deer did. He feels like he's trapped. Look, it's all buildings and parking lots. Can he go out and play like foxes are supposed to? No. no. I was separated from my family and now my only company are these strange creatures. How do they stand on their hind legs for so long? He thinks people are funny because they stand up on two legs instead of four. Why are these creatures digging? I remember having to dig burrows with my family. It took a long time, so we would all take turns to make sure it was big enough for everyone to fit in. But now what's there? He can't dig a burrow, can he? The new burrow is empty. He, his family all got separated. It's hard to believe. Did they build this for me? Could it be? Look, there's some bushes and some green stuff. Let's see. <gasps> Look at that. That looks more like Fox's kind of place, doesn't it? Hey, I'm home. He went through that big round culvert and he came to a place where his family was. And that's the end of that story. All right, let's find this one. Is this a real Fox book? Or a pretend? It's real. Yep, let's see what this one says. Foxes. What'd you say? This one has letters in it. Yes, it does. I see the number four and five. Uh-huh. This is about foxes, and it says this is a red fox, and he's sniffing at the edge of a lake. Like dogs, they have a sharp sense of smell. <coughs> see, he's looking for something. They're always looking for something to eat, aren't they? Probably fish. Yeah, I bet. They're hungry. <gasps> what foxes look like? A fox's bushy tail is called a brush. Look at that big fluffy tail. Yeah. That is kind of like a brush, isn't it? All right. And this, whoop, let's move on. <gasps> fox habitats. This is a fennec fox, and they make their homes in hot deserts. What is different about this fox? He has giant ears, doesn't he? I bet he can really hear, can't he? That's a different kind of fox than we have here. What foxes eat? A gray fox nibbles on wild berries in a forest. See how gray his back is? That's a different kind too. This is the kind we have here with kind of reddish fur on their backs. But that guy's gray. And... This shows us how foxes are born. Remember, they're first little tiny, tiny. Then they grow a little bit and a little bit more, and pretty soon they're big foxes. Like kind of the size of a, not a huge dog, a medium-sized dog. And here they are, they're the little ones. Fox mothers keep a guard over their pups. After the first month, pups begin to explore the world outside their den. They learn to hunt and they practice hunting skills by pouncing on insects. At first, fox parents bring their puppies food. Pups begin to hunt for their own food when they're about three months old. 
Most young foxes can take care of themselves when they're only six months and they leave their family's den and find their own territory. Because they, once they grow big, they can't all fit in the same den, can they? Guess what's a danger to a fox? Roads and buses. You have to watch, look both ways before you cross a road, don't you? And you watch out for traffic. Do you think foxes know that? They don't know that. And so they have to watch out. See that little fox on the road? If he's not careful, he can get hit. Oh, and look at this. The Arctic foxes have brown or gray fur in the summer, and in the winter they turn white so they can blend in with the snow. That way, if some big animal wants to eat them up, they can't see them very well because they look just like a little pile of snow. Fennec foxes, those ones with the big ears. Yeah. Fennec foxes can hear large insects walk on the sand. Remember that one with the big ears? He could hear insects walking on the sand so he could find his supper. That's, quite, that's a lot. That's a good ear to be able to hear an insect walking. Gray foxes are the only members of the dog family that can climb trees. Did you know a fox could climb a tree? No. Can dogs climb trees? No. no. But foxes can. Foxes save their food for later. They drop it in a little hole and go back later to eat it. So they're kind of smart. Okay, we have, this is my favorite fox book. Have you ever seen this one? Is this going to be a real story? No. How can you tell? It just doesn't look real, does it? It looks kind of cartoon-like. This is a story that's really a song, so I have to sing this one to you. Are you ready for this one? This is a song my grandma used to sing to me, and so now I will sing it to you. Look where this fox lives. That looks like a nice place for foxes, doesn't it? It has lots of trees and lots of grass and lots of woods. Well, here it is at night, because foxes like to go looking for food at night, right? So here he is out at night. Fox went out on a chilly night, and he prayed for the moon to give him light. He'd many miles to go that night before he reached the town, oh, town, oh, oh town, oh. He'd many miles to go that night before he reached the town, oh. Look, he's going to go across that little bridge, but he's still by lots of trees and, and water. So he can swim with his brothers and sisters and catch lots of things to eat. He ran till he came to the farmer's bin where the ducks and the geese were kept penned in. A couple of you will grease my chin before I leave this town, oh, town, oh, oh town, oh. A couple of you will grease my chin before I leave this town, oh. What does that mean they're going to grease his chin? He's going where the, fox, where the ducks and the geese are? Do you think a fox would like to eat ducks and geese? I bet so. <laughs> he hopes he gets to eat one of them. Let's see. Do you think he will? Let's see. Um, there he is looking at him. Look, he's, he's licking his chops, isn't he? He wants to eat one of those geese. First he caught the gray goose by the neck, then he swung a duck across his back. He didn't mind the quack, 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 or their legs all dangling down, oh, down, oh, down, oh. He didn't mind the quack, 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 or their legs all dangling down, oh. Look, did he catch some supper? Yeah, but what's he going to do with it? Maybe. Uh-oh, somebody heard him. Old Mother Giggle Gaggle jumped out of bed, opened the window and popped out her head, crying, John, John, our gray goose is gone and the fox is leaving town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. John, John, the gray goose is gone and the fox is leaving town, oh. Here goes John, what's he got, what's he carrying? What is that big thing? It looks kind of like a broom, I think it's his gun. Is he going to shoot that fox for taking his chicken and his goose? His duck, I mean, let's see. John, he ran to the top of the hill, blew his horn both loud and shrill. The fox said, gee, I better go with my kill or they'll soon be on my tail. Oh, tail, oh, oh tail, oh. Fox said, I better go with my kill or they'll soon be on my tail. Oh, he's running away with it, isn't he? 
He ran till he came to his nice warm den. There were the little ones, eight, nine, ten, crying, Daddy, Daddy, better go back again, because it must be a mighty fine town. Oh, town, oh, ho, ho, town, oh. Daddy, Daddy, better go back again, because it must be a mighty fine town. Oh. The fox and his wife, without any strife, ate up the goose with a fork and a knife. They never had such a dinner in their life, and the little ones chewed on the bones, oh. Bones, oh, ho, ho, bones, oh. They never had such a dinner in their life, and the little ones chewed on the bones, oh. So was that a real fox story? No. no. But he did have a den. We heard about foxes who live in dens, right? Mm -hmm. And we heard they might have ten babies, mm -hmm. and the fox had ten babies. Mm -hmm. And we heard they might eat ducks or geese, and he sure ate a duck and a goose, didn't he? So it has some true things, but it's not a whole true story. Because foxes don't sing, right? No. <laughs> That's right. Okay, the last one we have is called On the Trail of the Fox. And there's a mommy and a little baby. What did we call the baby foxes? Anybody know? A pup or a kit? A kit. A kit. You like them? A doctor's kit. Yeah, it is kind of like a kit of a doctor. So here's a picture of a couple of little babies. Here they are. And uh, this one's kind of half grown. He looks like he's a half grown fox and he's learning how to go hunting. How do you know, he, is he using his ears? How can you tell? Looking. What? Looking. He's looking, he's using his ears, probably his nose too, right? He is looking for something to eat. And, oh, look, here's a mommy and a little baby. Remember they told us the little babies were gray? Yeah, and so, and the club kit. That's right, and there he is. The mommy's looking at the kit. And here's where one's going out hunting. They need a nice big area to go hunting because they need lots of food to eat to feed 10 little babies, right? And, he, oh, looks that some of them eat berries, and we know they eat geese, and we saw that. What else did we see a, a fox? What? Um, farm geese. Yeah. What else did one have in his mouth? Duck. A geese. Yep. A duck. Uh-huh. And one other thing, something with a fluffy tail. What was that? A fox. <laughs> Foxes have fluffy tail. How about the squirrel? Remember the squirrel? Yeah. Yeah, right. Here's one yawning. He's tired. He's had a busy day. <laughs> he has a lot of sharp teeth, doesn't he? You can see he can gobble up some food. And here they are out hunting using their nose and their ears. And let's see what else. Oh, here's one. What's he doing? Climbing a tree. We didn't, we, he's the only member of the dog family who can climb a tree. Oh, yeah. And look, there's what his feet, his uh, tracks look like. Huh. We can go outside and we have some tracks just like that in the, in the sidewalk. And look how when he puts his front foot down, he puts his back foot right beside it. They're right beside each other. And look what he uses his tail for. See that fluffy tail? Mm -hmm. He's keeping his nose warm. He curled up in a little ball and he put his tail over his nose to keep it warm. Because his nose doesn't have any fur on it, does it? Mm. It would get cold. All right, let's see what else we can... Probably wet. Probably wet, yeah, that's, that's right. Cold. That would be even colder. You're exactly right. Here's some little pictures of baby kits and they're learning to uh, fight. So they're playing with each other. <laughs> Do you have anybody at your house that you fight with? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, you do. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Here is a little tiny baby all curled up in his mommy's tail. Mm -hmm. Isn't that little? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, shall we take a walk out and see the fox tracks? Yeah. Did you bring coats and stuff to put?